driving, I must remember to download these and edit them. Um, I also uh, forever get lost to Twitchio. Um, I've just been to Lidl, picking some stuff up before work. And uh, you get to drive to work with me. And I will have a Belgian muffle. What do you guys think of Belgian muffles? Do you like them just with the with the uh, big sugar, or do you like them like here with chocolate? Huh? Mm. I think the chocolate is nice. I mean, it's not the highest quality chocolate. Mm. And chocolate connoisseur. Probably say it's just sugar that may be painted brown. And um, if you have ever tried to melt down cheap chocolate to uh, you know to use it in baking or to maybe cover some fruit like strawberries or chunks of banana or so, you will notice that when you melt down cheap chocolate, that it turns very caramelly. Um, instead of uh, like a like a chocolatey mousse kind of thing, it just turns very caramelly, and that's because cheap chocolate, mega high in sugar, um, and doesn't really contain that much chocolate in, uh, in that way. So, <clears throat> so if you ever buy chocolate and you want to bake for someone or just for yourself as a treat. Um, or, like I said, copper fruit in chocolate. Then always spend a few extra euro, a few extra euro, um, because it's worth it. You'll notice it in the flavor and in the way that it behaves. Plus, you can play around if you want to learn how to temper chocolate, for example.
dipping in some something like maybe you like to dip uh, you know into your like like a chocolate powder kind of way maybe you like to dip in some crackers um, or like a, a short crust biscuit um, or, or maybe like a buttery cookie or a sugar cookie do something that you love to dip in chocolate